I'm making toothbrush head grooming brushes. They're really cute. Oh, I dropped it. So you start out with toothbrush heads. Actually, you start out with toothbrushes and cut the heads off. How you choose to do this is up to you. I just used an exacto and scored it first and then I used pliers and broke it off. If you use toothbrushes that are made out of the right kind of plastic that's just kind of soft, you can usually just break them off or use some really sturdy scissors. And because my plastic was kind of hard plastic, this part is sharp. So I used a file, a metal file, and I filed it down so that it would be fairly smooth. You can't really see it, but it's smooth. So that the end wouldn't be really sharp. Now, I, because of how I cover it, the end isn't sharp anyways, but I just like it to be smooth. So you probably don't have to file it if you don't want to. And you can just use it like this. You don't have to cover it. You can just use it as it is. But it kind of looks like a toothbrush head, so I wanted it to look more like a grooming brush. I took a piece of leather. You can probably use any kind of lacing or cord. And I have several different styles. I put this piece and I glued it on the end in a little loop. But I've also I made this style where it's like a little handle by gluing one end on like that. And then after I put the covering on, I just glue this end on like that. So I'm just using a regular fleece and I cut a little piece out of it to make the back for my brush. Just put a line of glue like that because you don't want it all the way glued on yet. And then put the fabric onto the back of it, kind of in the middle of the fabric. And press it into place. Right where this strap is, I'm going to cut not the strap, but the fabric in a line out from the brush. Oh, and you can't see it, but that's what I'm doing. So that there's a little gap right there. That's so that the the band can just go right there. And then you want to do do it right across from there on the other side. strap can fit like that. And then glue it into place. Try not to get the glue on your hands. Hold it there for a while. Okay, once your handle has been glued down, you want to glue all the edges down. So just glue around the edge. You can kind of glue under it if you want. Ah, oh, I got glue on my hand. 
get right in there because it's going to get annoying if you don't. Okay. Press your fabric around it. Around the edges. Try and cover up the gap right there around underneath your strap because otherwise it's going to look funny. And also try and cover this the end. Kind of stretch the fabric a little bit to get around the end. And kind of hold it down until you're pretty sure it's nice and dry. Now you got all this extra, so find a small pair of scissors or use a big pair if you're really good with scissors. And trim the extra off. Try to trim it as straight as you can. Because that looks nice. Oh, get out of there. It looks like a caterpillar. Now you can stop there or decorate it. I like to add these little hotfix gems to it, like right there, right here on the end, because I think it looks cute. But uh, that's pretty much how you do it. You got a nice little brush for your grooming kit. So, thanks for watching.